I'm, I have questions. I mean, they called only when they ran low of supplies. I feel like they were like, I can't do this. Let's call somebody. Not, either way, I believe they're safe. That's the hashtag news we love, right? All right, 37 degrees. It's still a little brisk, though, around the Coosa and Gadsden this morning. It's 40 in Birmingham. Within the hour, though, likely all of us will be right around 40 degrees or just above. So the frigid and freezing temperatures are gone for this Sunday morning. We're getting about uh, 10 minutes to 10. The temperatures are pretty uniform across the deep south and into portions of the Rockies, too. But we will see our temperatures moving up on the thermometer today. The only thing that we will share is we will have another cold spell pushing in by Monday afternoon. This is another quick moving cold front that will extend that period of dry weather, very quiet weather too, but it will also keep our temperatures pretty cold on Tuesday morning. I think that may be one of the coldest mornings for the entire seven day forecast. Highs will be in the 60s later in the week and heading into next weekend to those forecast high temperatures. This is a cool view of the satellite and radar composite because as soon as the sun comes up and we are looking at the visible satellite, it allows us to illuminate all of the different types of cloud formations and it really paints a picture of where high pressure has just carved out a nice section of uh, the atmosphere. It also is showing that as a little bit of humidity is running into portions along I-95 in Savannah and Valdosta, it's not making it farther past Macon. And so our rain chances will stay low. We will see a little bit more humidity increasing on Monday, but that cold front is moving in by Monday evening and that brings temperatures back down on Tuesday. So rain chances are out, but we do see those temperatures certainly dropping. Not going to get into the freezing realm until after mid night tonight in your seven day forecast that quick moving system on Monday does bring those frigid temperatures back to the forecast on Tuesday morning.